two decades ago, when the 2003 SARS pandemic rattled the planet, some areas of the world, such as Canada, saw higher rates of safety over others. With the current COVID-19 pandemic and the 2003 SARS pandemic being so similar in nature, JPT has taken a look at proven safety measures that previously benefited these healthcare facilities during the 2003 SARS pandemic. Specifically, we are going to dive into healthcare leadership strategies for a better future concerning electrical and telecommunication systems. First, strategic master planning efforts should be made regarding flexible, innovative, and integrated building systems. Network hardware, software, electrical systems, data center cooling systems, and the resiliency of telecommunication service providers should be evaluated. Next, all staff should have remote access to the health system's teledata software and servers. Staff that are able to work from home should do so. All face-to-face -face contact with another person should be minimized, regardless if they are a staff member, patient, or guest. Using telemedicine for health patient appointments, encouraging the use of apps for patient registration, and communicating with patients through nurse call and teledata systems for meal, bed checks, and other needs are all ways to reduce contact between people. As for patients who are physically in a healthcare facility, use cameras for routine monitoring of patients and enter that patient's room only when necessary. Make sure to disable kiosk use and implement hands-free doors wherever possible. Please check out the associated blog post on JPT's website, which contains more information and materials for download. JPT hopes that you will keep tuning in and following along to see how your facility can be pandemic prepared. See you next time.